picture is so pretty. I love this one. I love both of you guys. The dolls comfort her, but they can't replace baby Zenora. What do the baby dolls represent? Zenora. Chastity Congeus was six months pregnant when she was booked into the Tarrant County Jail in 2020. She's intellectually disabled. She's also bipolar and schizophrenic. After several months in jail for a probation violation for a previous assault case, she went into labor inside this infirmary cell. She didn't know that she was in labor, but she knew her stomach was hurting pretty bad. Jailers and medical staff were sitting right in front of her cell as she gave birth alone. So when you were having Zenora, were you crying out for help? Yes, I couldn't get up or do nothing. Chastity gave birth and the baby wasn't discovered until almost 40 minutes after birth was given. No, we're not going with the baby. This video shows the moments after they finally found her in the cell, the umbilical cord wrapped around the baby's neck. The baby lived just 10 days. A lot of people drop the ball, and that's how it happens. And it will continue to happen unless the, the citizens of Tanner County demand better. The death of Zenora and others have put the jail and its sheriff, Bill Wayborn, under the microscope. Since 2020, the jail's annual mortality rate has exceeded the national average, and at times, nearly double. Critics have claimed the jail lacks adequate staffing and oversight, putting lives at risk. And over the past two years, Tarrant County commissioners have agreed to 1.6 million in settlements. First thing I would say is I wasn't agreeing to settlements. I generally was not for that. And uh, the other thing that I would say to people is that even when we did everything right, the person still died. Wayborn took office in 2017. Since then, 60 county prisoners have died, an average of more than eight prisoners a year. By comparison, the previous sheriff had the same number of deaths in 16 years. That's an average of about 3.8 deaths per year, less than half the number of deaths compared to today. 80, 90 percent of them have died at the hospital from chronic diseases. People didn't know it until they got here, and they've generally ended up in the hospital, and that's where they passed away at. I'm telling you, jail deaths in this county are a problem. Sheriff Bill Wayburn is here. Let's welcome him. Last month, Commissioner Elisa Simmons invited Wayborn to a packed town hall meeting. Very proud of Tarrant County Sheriff's Office. Do you agree that 60 deaths is too many to have in the Tarrant County Jail? Representative, I promise you I don't want to have one. Wayborn said factors beyond the jail's control caused the number of deaths to spike since 2017. Eight prisoners died from COVID-related causes five from drug overdoses. The jail's also 200 detention officers short, and jailers often work more than 50 hours a week. I would still say that we're one of the safest and cleanest jails in America. We got award-winning people over there, award-winning programs. Award-winning? I'm not sure who's handing out the ribbons. The problem in the Tarrant County Jail is systemic. Dean Malone represents the family of Javante Myers. The 28-year-old died from a seizure inside his cell in June 2020. Two jailers put in the log that they'd checked on Myers, but a Texas Rangers review found that the jailers did not complete the required 20-minute checks. Honestly, I couldn't tell you why they were not done. Jailer Eric Gay told an investigator that supervisors knew officers weren't doing state-mandated cell checks. After those death in custodies from the baby being born and the suicide, they're only concerned about making the computer look good. It goes farther up than just officers. We asked the sheriff about Gay's comments. I think that that was somebody trying to defend themselves. They falsified government documents and we charged them criminally with that. Yeah, well, I will say that right back to him. That's his response, trying to defend himself. Randy Moore represents Gay. It's interesting that the lowest person on the food chain is the only person that's being indicted for criminal conduct. The entire organization failed here, and the evidence of that is the fact that this isn't the only time that this has happened. Two months before Myers died, Dean Stewart hung himself from a light fixture in his cell. 
Paramedics tried to revive him. He died on the floor of the jail. State regulators found jailers failed to do a required cell check on Stewart in time. They got behind in their checks. It was nothing of, it was nothing of malice. We thought we were doing it right. Since the death of Stewart and Myers, the jail has installed a new electronic cell check system. This will hold about a million cell checks. Chief Deputy Charles Eckert says jailers do more than 80,000 cell checks a day. I can pull up this housing area right now and it will tell me exactly when those are done. So we are very, very proactive about making sure those checks are getting done properly. Thank you. The county settled Myers' case for $1 million. Another $400,000 settlement went to Stewart's family. And the county is now negotiating to settle Chastity's case. Hey, Sheriff. At the town hall, I asked the sheriff about Chastity. That particular case, uh, what a tragedy. She was being checked on every eight and nine minutes. But if she's being checked on every eight or nine minutes, how does she give birth to a baby? She had her covers pulled up, and there was nothing you could do. I mean, you would have looked in, and you saw her laying there like she was every day, and with a blanket pulled up, couldn't see it, and then when they entered it, they pulled back the blanket, and there it was. I like this doll. It's my favorite one. It's a tragedy, to be sure, but one that Chastity's mother says wouldn't have happened if the jail had done its job. Zenora was a healthy baby, a beautiful, healthy baby girl. And there is no way that we would have been sitting here if they would have helped us by helping Chastity to deliver the baby well. I miss Zenora. I miss Zenora because I never got to hold her. Drink your milk, Gabby. She would have been an amazing baby. In Fort Worth, I'm Tanya Iser.